Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, I am going to walk through using attributes, session attributes in an Alexa skill to manage state. And this is a continuation of the, uh, it was video number 188, which was the last tutorial that I did on handling yes and no responses. And if you go to youtube.com slash Dabble Lab from the channel main page, you can click on this little search here and just do pound 188 and that will pull up the, um, the previous tutorial that this is kind of related to. Um, you can watch them separately, but in this last tutorial, uh, I went through using the Amazon Yes intent and the Amazon No intent, but I didn't really talk about managing state. And normally when you use Yes and No, you're gonna wanna know what uh, question the user is saying yes or no to. So you've, you've got some state management requirements in there. And that's what we're gonna cover in this tutorial. But like always, this stuff changes super quickly. So before watching any more, make sure that the, um, the description of the video, if you see something like this, where it says updated video with a URL, follow that URL to the updated tutorial. Um, again, this stuff changes very, very, very quickly. All right, with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. You're gonna head over to developer.amazon.com. If you have an account, go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, you'll need to create one and that's free. Um, once you're logged in, go to Alexa, slash Alexa, and then to your Alexa consoles. So that is basically when you're logged in, if you go up here to the menu and hover over your Alexa consoles and just go to skills. This will bring you to your skill list. And that's where we're going to start here. And I'm going to use Alexa hosted skills, which is what I used for the last uh, tutorial. And I've been using these. Um, let's see another demo. I've been using these to do the uh, the demos, although I, I still prefer using the, the CLI, but for these quick topics, it's just easier to do everything in the, uh, the, the browser. If you're creating a, um, uh, a simple skill uh, or just learning and trying different things, the hosted skills are all free. You don't have to set up an AWS backend, which is really nice. So it's a great way to, um, to, to put together simple skills or to learn. And so I'm gonna use them for this. It takes a little while to um, provision, I don't know, a couple of minutes because it's setting up the AWS backend. So I'm gonna fast forward through this and we'll pick up after everything is set up and ready to go. Okay, now our hosted skill is all provisioned and ready to go. I like to um, open three tabs when I'm working with the hosted skills. I leave one tab for the build section and then I do another tab for code and then another tab for test. So I end up with three browser tabs, uh, build, code, and test. And that way I can just toggle through them really quickly because uh, I'll be going back and forth through these three areas of the, uh, the developer console. So I'm gonna start at the test tab over here and just turn on uh, development just so we can test. And just to make sure that everything is working, I'm gonna go through and just do a quick test. Oh my gosh, another demo, Can't type. Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? We'll just make Sure. Okay, so everything is uh, is working here, so we can start changing this up. And this is just sort of the the boilerplate um, template or skill that when you deploy or when you uh, create a new uh, hosted skill, this is what you get. It's sort of just a really basic hello world skill. And we're going to start there, and we're going to modify this. But first, uh, I need to add the Amazon Yes Intent and the Amazon No, it, uh, no Intent. We did this in the last tutorial. Um, so uh, you're going to go to Intents from the Build tab and then Add. And then these are built-in intents, so you want to search for them. So I'm going to add the Yes Intent and then the uh, No Intent also. So uh, once uh, those are added, I save the model and then build the model. And this takes a minute. So while that's building, we'll go over to our code and we'll create an intent handler to, uh, to handle the yes and no. Um, when I did this in the last tutorial, I, I set up a, a two handlers and one for the yes intent and one for the no intent. And I did that just to keep it simple. Um, but 
normally how I would do it or well another way to do it I guess not normally it just depends on how you're using it is um, you could have a single single handler that handles both yes and no and so I'm gonna do that for this example so I've created this intent handler called yes no intent handler and let me register that down here uh, I always forget to do that um, all right, so now in here, we want to make sure that it handles the yes intent and the no intent. Right now, it's just handling help, which we don't want. We want yes, and we also want to handle um, no. So I can do that by saying if the yes intent or just change this to no intent. Uh, and just to test this out, I'm going to change this up to say said yes or no. So this I'm doing just to quickly test to make sure that this intent handler is handling both the yes and no responses. And so we'll let that deploy. And when you're working with the um, hosted skills, I always forget, I, I just save and then I go and test, but I you have to deploy for it to test. So it is uh, deployed now, I think. So let's go over to our test tab and try this again. So another demo. Welcome, you can say hello or help. Which would you like to try? Neither, yes. You said yes or no. And then no. You said yes or no. Okay. Um, so that's all working. Now let's go back and make this stuff uh, work and start taking a look at the state management piece, which is the, the main piece. So first, I'm going to ask a different question when the skill launches. So I'm going to ask, uh, are you having a nice day? And the answer to this question could be yes or no. Uh, and so um, it's going to be picked up by our yes, no intent handler. And the other thing that I'm going to do is um, down here is for the reprompt, I'm going to change this uh, to something like, do you think tomorrow will be a nice day? So now what I've got is um, a case where the user could say yes or no for two separate questions. And what I need to know now is are they saying yes to the first question or are they saying yes to the second question? And that's where the state management comes in. So uh, we're going to use something that is part of the skills kit SDK, uh, the, the V2 SDK, and that is the um, attributes, session attributes. And I am going to cheat here with some stuff that I did um, earlier, just to save us a little bit of time and copy and paste this in and then talk about what's going on here. Okay, so when the user says yes or no, I've got a variable here called answer. And if they answer, I'm gonna assume, uh, I'm being optimistic that they're uh, having a good day. So the default is uh, a good day. If the intent type is, or the intent name is no intent, um, then I change the value of answer to bad. And then I'm using that in my speech text down here. Got it, today was a answer, so a good day or a bad day. And then I'm reprompting again here in, uh, in the speech text, will tomorrow be a nice day? And then I, they're gonna say yes or no. And so what I do down here is I use the, um, the attributes manager to get the current session attributes. And I'm looking for an attribute that I'm setting up here called answer. If the um, if the answer exists, then I say, got it, you think tomorrow will be a good or bad day. So now I know that um, because they've previously answered that they're answering the tomorrow question. 
And if not, um, I'm setting the answer to answered to true. So it's the first time that they've answered, meaning that they're answering that first question that came in uh, through the launch request. And, and we could do this differently um, and uh, probably more uh, more elegantly. But the uh, the point here is really just to to show the uh, the mechanics of it. So uh, try to keep it simple, and then. Um, uh, yeah, and then we'll uh, we should know whether or not, or we should be able to respond appropriately based on the question that was asked, either the one through uh, "Are you having a nice day today or tomorrow?" So we'll save that, deploy it, and then we will test it. So deploying. Okay, looks like it's all deployed. Now we can go over here and test it. And another demo. Uh, Are you having a nice day? I'll say yes. Got it. Today was a good day. Will tomorrow be a nice day? And I'll say no for this. Got it. You think tomorrow will be a bad day? And so there it is. Um, again, really simple example, but hopefully it's helpful and uh, illustrates how you can use uh, session attributes to manage state and sort of a, a continuation of the last tutorial number uh, 188. If you have any questions or uh, comments, please leave those and I will respond just as quickly as possible. If you did like the video and you found it helpful, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Thanks so much.